this is Friday. Uh, we just got done loading up all the cars. Uh, we have a Porsche GT4, Cayman GT4. Uh, two of them actually, one a double stacker, one a single. Uh, we got the Hennessy Mustang, the v uh, Venom 1000. And then we got the 600 LT and the GT3 RS on the uh, on the wedge. We also have an Evo there. Uh, basically three trailers hauling down. Uh, it's gonna be a total of four of us driving. Uh, and we always bring our fifth car as a spare. So uh, really excited to get the day going finally on the road. Uh, it took us a couple of hours here. It's super hot in Houston. So a uh, bit of a sweaty day, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's, you gotta do what you gotta do to get out to the track. So it's part of the process and we all love it. So we'll see you tomorrow, maybe later tonight when we get to the track. So we made it down to Coda, finally unloaded the cars. It took a little bit while. The breeze is actually feeling kind of nice. I'm here with Paige. Uh, we're going to be kind of focusing on her experience and progression this weekend. She's going to be riding with Ray, uh, who I rode with quite a bit, and he's a great instructor. So really excited to give her the opportunity to ride with Ray uh, in a GT4 this time. Um, so we right now are just having quite like a little small little gathering party, cooking up some steaks, um, and getting ready to uh, shut it down for the evening for tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm here at Coda, and I'm going to be driving the GT4 this weekend, which I'm super, super excited about. As you guys know, I have a GT4 of my own, which I drive a lot around the streets and whatnot of Houston, take it to car shows, but to actually have the chance to drive a GT4 here at Coda is going to be super fun and amazing, so I can't wait to show you guys how I do with that. I'm also going to be working with our instructor Ray Ray, so I know that my time's gonna get significantly better because he's one of the best out here. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know how I do, but I'm really excited. Hello to friends over at the Coda Merchandise Mod. Also, just a reminder everybody, What's up guys? So it's Saturday morning here at the Edge Addicts event. Uh, I'm about to go on track about 20 minutes, 25 minutes uh, in the very advanced group. It's actually my first time running with this group. So we'll see what the difference between the advanced and the very advanced group is. That's the highest uh, or fastest group that they actually have here. Four drivers today and uh, just looking forward to the rest of the day. It looks like the uh, weather gods are actually gonna contribute for us and come through. The rain was supposed to be like 50% chance of rain. Now it's down to like 15. So if we get lucky, hopefully we don't see any rain. expected it to be. I'm super excited to kind of work on all the mistakes that were previously made as this is my second time around Coda. So last time I did really, really good with it being my first time. But now that I have a little bit more experience, I'm hoping to really dial in and tune in on any mistakes. And I'll also be working with Ray Ray. So yeah, hoping for a good outcome.
Jose Aguilar, I'm the co-founder of Make Studio. We make customizable furniture for commercial interiors. Um, the way I'm involved with the racing club, uh, Rafa is actually uh, purchasing furniture for his new headquarters in Houston. I'm myself an F1 uh, fan, uh, so I follow F1 and then we started talking about, you know, obviously cars and he told me more about the racing club. Really cool vision way it has for the community, for people from different ages, different backgrounds. For someone like me that I'm not, I don't have any experience with cars. I know, I like the, the, the racing and the, the competitive aspect of it. And he was like, that's what this club is for, you know, to, to share the knowledge with others. So, uh, got me hooked. Uh, he invited me here to the, to the track today. Uh, I wasn't quite expecting what I was coming to. I knew I was gonna be around pretty cool, fast cars. But he actually took me on the racetrack and it was a whole different experience. The first lap, it was kind of getting used to, you know, it's a fast car. You know, and, and I was concerned that I was gonna get dizzy because, you know, you, you feel a little bit of force. You know, you had a pretty busy, stressful week, and this actually kind of snapped me out of it and got me in a different place. So it was it was a pretty cool experience, and I'm really happy to be here and continue supporting the club. I got down to 235, so I'm really happy with that. I started out doing 241, 240, 239, 238, and now I finally got down to 235. Now we're kind of just working on pointing out some flags and point buys and being safe on the track out there with other drivers. So I'm really happy with how I've been doing. All right, so this is the end of the day. Like Paige said, the track was great. She did an incredible job. Really nice to have her with uh, our best driver, Ray. Really good positive feedback given from him on how she's coming along and, and learning and picking up things. So we got lucky. Didn't actually get any rain until the very last part of the day. So, and I also got to take the, uh, the Blue GT4 out and just learn to drive a different car with different horsepower, different balance. Everything about it was, uh, you know, just good experience. So uh, super happy with how the day went and excited about tomorrow. Yeah, bro. I know it was. It's pink. Sunday here with Edge Addicts at Coda. I'm super excited to drive today because my instructor actually promoted me to be driving solo. So hopefully I'll do a little bit better because you know I'll be one with the car and in tune with driving and whatnot. We'll see where the day takes us today. Hopefully the weather will hold off from the rain. It was supposed to rain all day. Looks like we have clear skies, so hopefully we have a dry track today. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
My name's John, local to Austin, Texas, and Circuit of the Americas. Raphael with Rafa Racing, gracious enough to let me drive this 600 LT. I actually took a couple sessions in it. The car is simply amazing. Uh, braking power, the engine's power, the way it delivers it, cornering. This car is phenomenal. And uh, can't thank Raphael enough. The thing was amazing. Hopefully we get to do it again. So I actually had to miss the last couple of sessions. Uh, the car started leaking a little coolant, um, leaked a little bit overnight. We thought it was okay, but then today it leaked a little bit more. So it's under warranty, so it'll be getting taken care of. Unfortunately, we didn't think it was safe to take out on the track another session. So I'm missing the last two sessions. Uh, Paige is still out, so we'll talk to her in a little bit when she gets back and kind of put a summary together about the whole day. But overall, it was a really good day. Car ran great. I did a 223 in it uh, under the circumstances. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with, you know, with how everything went. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for today. I just finished up my last session here at Coda. I had a great weekend. The last session I was a little bit tired, making a little bit more mistakes. So that's when I know I need to come into the pits and just call it quits for the day. But overall I did really good and I couldn't be happier with my results today. Lots of seat time for me, which means just better times around the track. I'm really happy with overall how the event went and I think everyone has been happy so far. So yeah, a great turnout. All right, so that concludes our event here with Edge Addicts at Coda. It was a great weekend. All the cars ran great. Everybody did awesome. Hopefully you guys got to enjoy uh, seeing Paige's progress and some of her commentary and her experience and how she's advancing. Uh, she got solo qualified, did a 234 or 235, uh, which is an incredible time in the GT4. Overall, we did really well. I did a 223 and the team just kept the cars on the track and going home safe. So that's, you know, first and foremost, uh, the most important thing that we had fun and, and are taking the cars home safe. So uh, again, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, notifications. If you have any feedback, comments, please leave it below. Thank you. <laughs>